probe that transformed our understanding of Mercury. And late last night, Messenger, as expected, crashed into the red planet after four years of studying it. While it was there, though, Messenger sent back more than 270,000 images and scientific measurements. What have we learned? Well, let's talk now to astrophysicist Dr. Chris North. Good morning. Good morning. Um, what have we learned? Well, Messenger has showed us that uh, Mercury is, has been active much more recently than we expected. So we think of Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system, as being this, this, this sort of dead lump of rock that maybe stopped changing billions of years ago. But what Messenger has shown is that everything has changed, uh, or lots of things have changed on small scales, in the past maybe tens of millions of years. And to, to astronomers and, and planetary scientists, that's, that's very, very recent. So understanding that is very important. And Chris, I think if we can bring up the image, it's the one behind me here now. If we bring that full frame, just explain. This, you say, is one of the important images and tells us quite a bit. Just explain. Well, one of the big things Messenger's done is map the entire surface. We've only seen about half the surface of the planet before from, from previous missions. And looking, the colours on this image show the chemical composition of the surface, which elements are on the surface. Which colours which then as you look uh, at it I can't, So there's, there's colours that are magnesium and there's, there's sulphur and there's iron, all those kind of what we think of as heavy elements that are littering the, littering the surface, that were volatiles that would escape very quickly. And they tell us about the history of the planet, whether it's been heated lots, whether it's uh, undergone big shocks. And also on, on very small scales, those change, they're excavated by impact craters and you can see what's going on beneath the surface. So it's, it's all laying, uh, uh, laying a path for the next mission to make in about a decade's time. So what well. does that tell us about Earth? Because I know, you know, if you go to Mars, or the hope is Mars will give us a lot of information about Earth. Can Mercury help at all? Well, Mercury is, is it's all a piece of the, the puzzle of what happened in, on with the, the early solar system. Every time we go to a, a, a new planet, and this is the best view we've had so far of, messenger, of Mercury, we see uh, everywhere is different. Even some of the, the dry, icy moons of the outer planets are not as, as boring as they might have once seemed. Everywhere is different. And it tells us how the solar system has changed over billions of years. And we can make that relevant maybe to other solar systems when we get more information about those in, in years or decades' time. And Messenger had run out of power. Was it as simple as that? Couldn't they have put a solar thing on it and kept it going indefinitely? It's, it's, its power was fine. It had solar panels. It's very close to the sun. It gets a lot of power from those. It was its fuel. So the, the tidal force of the sun meant its orbit dropped lower and lower relative to Mercury. So it, it started off 250 kilometres above the surface and dropped down to about 5 kilometres. Got some really high-resolution views of things like hollows that are excavating out of the surface and all this kind of stuff, which is really quite fascinating stuff that we had no idea existed. And then finally, they even the, the engineers running the running the mission managed to, to use the helium that pressurizes the fuel and vent that as well to get a last little blast of, uh, of, of power of fuel of, of thrust to but keep it up. messenger is no more thank you uh, dr chris north thank you very much thank you uh results are in for lloyd banking group victoria told us a little bit about them earlier she had more details morning hi morning yes that's right uh lloyd's banking group has just